zoning department, our planning department, our max leadership are doing a number of things and outreach to the community to, to, to bring people in and make sure they're able to see and, and hear and feel some of the many things the city is, is doing. For instance, on October 18th at 5.30, uh, we'll be offering a tour of our water treatment plant on Guest Road so that uh, residents can come and learn how the city uh, delivers and provides uh, about 12 million gallons a day, 3.3 billion gallons of drinking water a year to the customers of the city. On October 20th, have a tour of the Traffic Management Center. On the 24th, have a tour of downtown Valdosta. On the 26th at noon, have a presentation from Mayra on the Five Points Redevelopment Project in a lunch and learn environment over at City Hall Annex. On the 29th, have a tour of the Lowndes County Historical Museum and, and Society with Don Davis. Uh, Mr. Davis is fond of saying, to know your future, you must know your past. So it is important. And then finally, on the 31st at noon, to have a T-SPLOS presentation at the uh, RC, the Old South Georgia RDC, uh, from Corey Hull to talk about the transportation vote, tax vote that will be taken next year. So these are all ways that we're trying to reach out and engage the community and issues of importance uh, to make sure uh, that they are aware of them. Um, also, I want to uh, mention that next Friday, you all are aware that we'll be having the first Wintersville Legislative Appreciation Day next Friday on the 14th. And we're pleased that our city, our community, will actually be honoring our local delegation of Senator Golden and Representatives uh, Carter Black and Shaw, as well as hosting a number of members of the General Assembly. Uh, this is our first attempt at sort of trying to have a bird supper event locally. We have about 35 members of the General Assembly that have RSVP that will be in attendance. And I think I know Mayor Vickers and four of you have RSVP to attend the luncheon. So this is a great opportunity for us to thank these members of the General Assembly, as well as make them aware of local needs and local issues that uh, we have in the community. And I also want to mention, you all know we went through a major planning exercise last year to plan for the future of our downtown, to go through a very community-oriented planning process to develop a new master plan that was adopted by you all. And the American Planning Association, the Georgia chapter of the American Planning Association, recognized our last last week in their meeting and gave us the award for the outstanding planning document for a large community in the state of Georgia for our downtown master plan. So that's, uh, that's a very nice honor and uh, demonstrates the value and the importance of, of planning, particularly with such a public-oriented participation process as we had. And I know today you read the article, and uh, we appreciate the Times reporting these good stories about the men and women who work for the city, and particularly our law enforcement agencies, but about Lieutenant Manahan being a graduate of the FBI Academy. And I just wanted to point out uh, that's a very prestigious just to be asked and to be accepted into that academy. It's a very selective, difficult selection process. And we have a number of employees. Commander Childress is a graduate of that. Commander Robinson, our patrol commander is. Captain Bobby McGraw, who you saw a few weeks ago, here is. Lieutenant Rufalowitz. Captain Osteen, and we actually have an employee that's been accepted for the next session, and that is Thomas Chavarria, who's on our power squad. And I think that says 